All right, and we are back for round two. I have no idea what happened, everybody, so I apologize about that. The good news about it is that the um, the stream crashed at the best possible time. Like, if you want your stream to crash, it might as well, like, be right at that spot where it happened, right in between smack dab case one and two, so we weren't, like, in the middle of anything. So case one was all done. We're getting ready, setting the stage for case two, then... What happened is my screen just went black. Uh, so this, I guess I, you could say it went black. It went completely like the home page on my screen where I have all my apps. And um, just the app crashed on me is what happened. So I do apologize for that. But we're back now. Thank you, everybody, for making your way back on over here. This is case number two. So with that being said, let's get right back into it. And uh, start case number two. So we had case number one. Michael ended up winning the whole shebang for case number one. Now we will start up case number two. And we have a whole bunch of different folks in here. Again, same format. The winner will get all the silver packs. And everything else in here. So there we go. Alec Baum and Key Brian Hayes right there. Lisa says, don't forget to re-hit the like button for this stream. Thank you, Lisa. And thank you, everybody that already has hit the like button. We got 17 likes. Let's go ahead and get this started up. Here we go. Larry, who ended case number one, is now starting things off in case number two. Let's see what we can find for you here, Larry. So we're going to start things off here with a gold foil. Timmy says the video is really choppy. What are you seeing on your end, Heather? Is it choppy? There's a Wade Boggs. That is a short print. I'm just going to try to hit refresh. Maybe try to change the video quality to maybe like, uh, what's your video quality? Is it really low? So, Larry, no numbered cards in your first pack. What? It's what? Ads. It's ads. Oh, Heather has to watch an ad. Heather says it's clear on her end, so if it came up a little blurry for you, click that gear down below and uh, maybe up it to maybe 720p or something like that nothing uh, better than some good old streaming difficulties on a saturday night at least it says this only happened because you would not let heather show the picture that's a good point uh, brand says amazing night jabs i'm going to throw you on the tv and watch you with my son happy father's day to you and everyone else who's a father brandon thank you very much man hope we can find some good stuff tonight Alex says, there's a reverse negative now on eBay for $1,500. We actually found that card. Stephen wants to know what a short print is. Anthony, no numbered cards in your stack either, so you're out. A short print is a card that is uh, just that. It's short printed. There's very few of it. Every other card they printed probably tens of thousands of. But a short print, there's a very limited print run to the number of copies out there. And you'll be able to tell that you have a short print because it'll be flipped upside down in the middle of the pack. And also, it has a special code at the bottom. There is a silver foil, not numbered. The Juan Soto as well. Nothing numbered in this pack either for Matthew. We'll show you when we come across a short print. Timmy T-Touch looks like your hand's shaking. Now, I did um, I did have Heather. She took care of me. She went and got a heating pad and a pillow and fixed me up so I'm a little more comfortable. My back was starting to spasm a little bit at the end. I swear, though, I didn't end the live stream. YouTube ended it. Mark Johnson with a $5 super chat. Thanks, Mark. Really appreciate the support of the channel. Hope you guys will check out Mark. Hope you're having a nice Saturday, man. And Christopher says, excellent time to have a stream problem. Yeah, it was an excellent time, right in between the two cases. So now, instead of one long Saturday showdown, we've got two different cases. that Each will have their own video, which works out, I guess. I really appreciate that, Mark. We have a... Rowdy Telez, and there's a Casey Mize fake autograph. It's the fakie. This is not a real autograph. That that text is not supposed to be there. We'll still sleeve it up because it's worth a buck or two, but that's not a real auto. Uncorrected error is the official designation on that. Timmy T, T Times has went out and came back in and solved the problem. Maybe it's just a Western PA thing. Maybe we're having internet issues. Mason says, can the Pirates sweep the Indians? We'll see. By the way, this next one's for Brent. Uh, no, wait, is that for Brent? Pack number six? No, this is for Dimitri. I don't mean to usher you off the stage so quickly, Dimitri. You got two packs. Yeah, Pirates, uh, last time I checked, they had a really big seventh inning, and we're out ahead of the Indians. There's Jake Cronenworth. 
We'll see. The Pirates had a really iffy game yesterday. They were up 11-1 to and um, almost blew the game. And we we have a icy parallel. So this is going to be our first numbered card. Dimitri, you're in the driver's seat right now, sort of, with a 318. But wait a minute. Let's not even go there because you have another number card that's a lot lower. A Garrett Cole, 137 out of 199. So that's a bit better. 137 is the card to beat. You'll be in the, the driver's seat for now. I don't know if that's going to end up holding up, but you never know. Maybe we will just have a bunch of icy parallels that are higher numbered. Kenny says the Pirates won 6-3 today. That's good news. Buckos almost blew it yesterday. They had 11-1 lead, and they ended up winning the game 11-10. Brent is up right now. Best of luck to you, Brent. It's spot number 66. Let's see what we can do for you here. Yeah, maybe the Pirates will sweep the Indians. All right, so, Brent, you've got a numbered card here. It's a gold card. It's a Jose Garcia. It is 1685, which is not even close to what you need. And we've got a nice Independence Day. That's going to get the job done and put you in the driver's seat. 63 out of 76, an Independence Day. JBJ, Jackie Bradley Jr. for Brent. We'll move you up. So, Brent, congrats. 63. A little bit better now. I don't know if that's going to end up holding up, but we shall see. If it does, bunch of base cards in there. Kenny says, talking about your short print, the Griffey uh, I got is going for 200 to 550. It must be a super short print then if it's that much. Chris is up next. He's got box number, or pack number seven out of this box. Let's see what we can find for you here. Yeah, 42 is a super short print. 41 is a short print. 42 is a super short print, which since it's Griffey, he's going to have a lot of demand for him. There's a Warren Spawn, not numbered. The Kyle Ripken super short print was, um, I think that one went for about 150. We pulled that one before. Lou Gehrig pulled that super short print earlier tonight in our first round of the Saturday Showdown. Chris, unfortunately, you've been eliminated. Next up, we have David. Stewart says, another monster game for Vladdy. What's he at? 23 dingers now? Blake opened a box of Series 2. Got a printing plate of Strasburg. One of one. Congrats, man. Yeah, I'm liking Series 2. I'm really after the SSSP mantle. How much is that going for, Jose? I think it's worth, it. I'd say three to 5000 I don't know if there's actually been any sales yet, but it seems to be that's what everybody wants to get for it. Um... Christopher says, after the Saturday showdown last weekend, made me think anything is possible with this game. Yep, you never know what's going to happen with this kind of break. 1393, not going to get it done for David. The number to beat is the out of 76, and I've already forgot what number it was. Was it 63? Let me double check that. I should probably just flip that one over. Yeah, the number to beat is 63 right now. So, David, you're out. Next up, we have Matt. It's spot 69. And then Evan will get the last pack out of there. Pack number 70. 120 total packs. Let's see what we've got. Here comes a gold card. It's a Houston Astros gold card for Matt. you got to be a 63. That might be tough. 417 is the back. There's a Max Muncy autograph. Nice looking one right there. We'll get that one top loaded up for Brent if he ends up taking home everything. Tatis got hurt again? I did not hear about that. I must have missed that. What's up with Tatis? I mean, I, I wish he could stay healthy. He does get hurt a lot. Evan's up right now at spot number 70. Well, that stinks. I just picked up his PSA 10 uh, rookie card. Hopefully it's not going to be a long injury. I'd love to see him challenge for the MVP award this year in the National League. It'd be nice to see a race between him and Acuna. Spot number 70 now is for Evan. Timmy said he hurt his shoulder, left the game. Hopefully it's just uh, something that's going to make him day-to-day -day and he'll be back soon. He's having a very historic home run rate. With the uh, I think somebody said it was every 8-point-something at-bats he's hitting a dinger. There is going to be a silver foil, and there's the man, Fernando Tatis Jr. It's not numbered. The, the walkie-talking living injury report is Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge is always hurt, yeah. Um, uh, really stinks that uh, Judge just can't stay healthy either. 
Left Behind Time says, what's up, Jabs? Filmed a plane crash site today down here in Georgia. Uh, crashed in the 1990s. The plane is still mostly there. Look for the vid soon. Thanks for the content. Left Behind Times, thank you very much. That sounds like a really cool video. Really appreciate the support. Left Behind Times, I hope you guys will check it out. If you guys like the exploration videos, like the urban exploration videos, Left Behind Times has that genre of content covered for you. So, you know, it's something a little different and uh, kind of exciting and interesting for sure as well. So make sure you check him out. And thank you very much for the super chat. Really appreciate that, man. And next up, we've got Tony. And Tony's going big or going home. He got 10 spots. Now, if you recall, Tony had the showdown in his the palm of his hand last week. Literally in the palm of his hand. He had it. He had a 1 of 10. He pulled it in the second pack the entire way. 1 of 10 was beating everybody. Nobody had a chance against Tony. And then it came down to the very last card. And would you believe it, the last card of last week's Saturday showdown was a one of one. So, Tony is going to try to, uh, you know, he's going bigger going home here. Like I said, he's going to try to get it back. He's taking 10 packs. So, every single pack from this box, he's going to go for it. And by the way, the box toppers there are Cal Ripken Jr. And we've got a 70 Kirby Puckett. Looks like there's some chance starting in the chat for tony we'll see if he can do it so i don't, I don't even have to worry about pulling these packs out in a specific order he's got all 10 here we go man good luck to you david said mounty had an, an awesome game today with all the homers three dingers yeah mount castle that should spike his cards up a little bit he was in danger of falling out of the top five rookies of series one Look him back in there. There's Key Brian Hayes. We definitely sleeve all his cards up since he's the best guy. That base card right there is like a five dollar card, believe it or not. Worth way more than any of the others. JT Realmuto, we've got a Baez. These aren't numbered. So first pack, nothing numbered. Usually the number cards are roughly, I don't know, maybe on average one every other pack. Here we go with the next pack. Let's grab this one. MMC says, Tony's going to get a number seven. What do you guys think the, the winning card is going to be? Somebody actually picked it uh, the last time. Somebody picked uh, three out of ten would be the winning card. I'm going to say the winning card. I'm going to stick to my guns, and I'm going to say 13 again. I thought 13 was good. 13 was the leader for two different times. We had a 13 out of 50 and a 13 out of 25 there. And we've got a numbered card here. Let's see what it is. It is a 98 out of 199. That won't get it done. The number to beat is a 63. Best of luck to you, Tony. Maybe we'll find a printing plate tonight. By the way, if you're wondering about redemptions, the rules of redemptions in the showdowns, are they just count as nothing? It's just like a base card because they're not numbered. Even if it says like uh, gold parallel, which is out of 50, we don't know what it's going to be numbered. So... Unless it says printing plate or super fractor, then we will know for sure. The number one true X fan says, when are you going to do museum collection? If yes, a case. Yeah, we'll be doing museum collection. That doesn't come out until early July there. I think it's July 2nd. So we'll have it for you whenever it comes out. I think that's uh, actually a Friday that comes out. Let's kick off our 4th of July weekend. Chris Bryant. These aren't numbered. Flip them over just to prove it. And nothing else really going on there in that pack. So Tony has not uh, found too much yet. Maybe like one or two numbered cards. Let's go into the next one. Hey, Heather, you're back. How are the kids doing out there? You changed the movie? Was that movie boring or something? They finished that movie? Well, how long was that movie? Like an hour? I feel like our first show showdown was like an hour long. All right, so we have an upside-down Carl Yastrzemski. It is not numbered, and we have a numbered card here. It is a gold Luke Voigt. Well, we have a new, new leader here. It's out of 50, so... Tony, you have bumped Brent from the top spot. That 63 goes into your stack. Brent, you're out. Thank you very much. And Tony is now the leader and it's a 33 of 50, so it's not a crazy low number, but it's pretty good. Luke Voigt is now the lead card. Tony, you are now in the driver's seat. 
Now that's, uh, you know, uh, I'd say you got about a 40% chance of winning it all, Tony, with that kind of number. It's a good number. It's not terrible. We've had cards in the 30s and 40s win before, but it doesn't usually happen. We'll see if you can hang on here. Let's go into our next pack and see what we've got. These are all still for you, Tony. So uh, John says, how long have you been collecting? Since 1989. I took a break at the end of high school and got back into it probably about 2015 or so. There's a Chavis 238, Christian Pache, 1980 tops. Boss Man just said, I pulled that void, but it was a 24 out of 25. Dan says, can you please do a 2016 tops case break? Because I love the camo prints, please. The problem is, where am I going to get a case of 2016? Um, I bet you if you went on eBay, you wouldn't even be able to find any. There's, those are really tough to come by. If they were on sale, they'd probably be a super, super high price just because they're tough. I could probably maybe like assemble a case, like buy a case here, there, like that way. But I think sealed cases from 2016 are pretty much extinct at this point, unless you come across a place like B and B that had all those cases in there. We got a new number for you, Tony. A new number, a new lead card here. It's Tom Murphy, 28 out of 70. So you've improved your lot by a little bit. The 33 is out. 28 is now the lead card. Congratulations on that one. So now your odds go from about maybe 40% to 50%. 28, pretty good. If you think to the first case, what numbers beat a 28? I think there was maybe four cards or so that beat a 28. So maybe your odds are actually only like 20%. But... We'll see if it stands up. 28 is now the new number. You still have four packs to improve that. Best of luck to you. Low Roller says, are you planning any more flea market, grind sale videos again? Um, I'd like to do some maybe this summer. The grind sales around here have been pretty dry in flea markets too. And I guess not a lot of inventory. Back when I was going to those before, nobody was buying cards. People were just dumping them at flea markets to get rid of them. Now they probably just see that they can get a big load of money for him and sell on eBay. Juan Soto not numbered. Dave Stewart also not numbered. But I'd like to maybe do a couple of those. I'd, I'm maybe going to focus in on some card store videos soon. Maybe as early as this week or so. Try to do a Walmart video for you guys this um, Friday, but couldn't find anything. Barnes & Noble was dry. The Walmarts were, I mean, I could have done a video, but if you would have like to see Panini draft pick contenders, contenders draft picks for football being open in Series 2, but I thought maybe that would be a little bit bland. So, because we just opened that kind of stuff a lot. I was hoping for some Bowman Megas. I was also hoping I would, would have found some Absolute Blasters to do the video, but maybe next week. Absolute Blasters, I guess, are out in the Midwest, some locations. All right, so let's see what we got for you here, Tony. Just some run-of-the-mill parallels. No numbered cards, but you're still in the driver's seat. The number is 28. Austin F's in the house. Hey, Austin. Good to see you. Daniel says, what's your favorite Topps design? 2015 is pretty good. I like that one. Lisa says, we have the world's largest grind sale here in Duncan, Oklahoma, July 16th and 17th. You'll be on the prowl for some good cards. Hope you find some. That's probably a little too far for me. Um, I don't know what I've got going on that 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 time anyway. We've got Key Brian Hayes right here. Go put that in the sleeve pile. It's a five dollar card, which is honestly worth more than most relics and autographs you'd find if they're common. The foil cards aren't numbered. Nice Tatis right there. All right, well at least you got what you wanted so far from the box. You're in the driver's seat. You've got the lead card. It is a twenty eight out of. 30 you got one more pack here maybe you'll find something lower than that maybe not but you've got four boxes to get through let's see what we can do for you right here um we've got a gold card it's a wade miley and it is numbered 640 and the autograph is going to be zach birdie which is not numbered there's that 2015 tops design that was just mentioned it's definitely different, kind of cool. I like maybe that was the design that, that sucked me back in because I remember thinking that was a cool design when it came out. Very, very modern looking. 
All right, so Tony, you are off the board or off the uh, clock, but you're still th at the top of the leaderboard. So going into our next box, Jimmy says, "Have you ever been to the Dulles Expo Center? Yeah, a couple times. It's pretty good. The first time, first couple times I went, found a lot of stuff there. The last time I went with Heather, and um, everything was really overpriced. It was kind of at, like the height of the boom." Silver packs will go to the winner at the end. We'll open all those up for you at the end. So stay tuned for all of that. And we got a 2010 Joey Bart rookie card and Ian Anderson with the sleeves. There you go. Thank you. All right, Scott, you're up right now. Good luck. Let's see what we can find. First pack up from the next box is we're almost at the halfway point. After this box will be at the halfway point of this next round. We got a Ryan Weathers gold card. It's a 522. 522. And Tariq Scooball is not numbered. It must be a purple parallel. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Key Brian 861 is in there as well. Bobby Dalbeck 86. Isaac says, How are we doing? Uh, not too bad. Back is a little bit messed up, but. Other than that, hanging in there. Hope we can find a. I'm really hoping we can find a Mickey Mantle Super Super Short or a Celebration of Decades ticket. Those are. The, I mean, I, I'm. I don't know. Want to say I'm just going to keep opening these until I find it because we might be doing these for months and months if, if that's the case. Got a silver foil for Richard, not numbered. Kenley Jansen and Sandberg, those aren't numbered either, as you can clearly see. I didn't get to see the big Jays come back. I did see that Vladdy hit another dinger, so that's good news for Vlad fans. As you know, I've always been a huge Vladdy fan. Tyler's up next, spot number 83. Pull that next pack up. Pack number 83. We're opening 120 packs tonight. We did our first live stream, and right in the intermission, in between the cases, the app crashed, which is a great time for the crash. Key Brian Hayes, so that's uh, why we had to start up the new live stream. So thank you to the 350 folks that came back to check out the next one. 117, nice Anthony Rendon. Pete Alonso, it's not numbered. It's a player-worn patch, so that's not a bad pack, but there's no numbered cards in it, which isn't what you want. The Jays were down 7-4 into the ninth, came back and won 10 to 7. Nice stuff right there. Always like the comeback wins. All right, so Tyler's out. Sandra's up next at spot number 84. Steven says, think the Sixers are going to take game seven tomorrow. Um, I don't know anything about a sport, so I'm the worst person to ask about that. I couldn't even name you one Sixers player, to tell you the truth. I don't follow basketball or football whatsoever. I'm baseball only. So there's a gold foil. Also have Ian Anderson. Luke Voigt, your home run leader from last year, hit 20 dingers in 60-game season. Another hospital said the Padres won. Need all you can get right now. Yeah, Padres trying to hang tough in that division. Tough division with the Giants doing so well. And um, Also got the Dodgers, of course. They're up to like 42, 43 wins right now. John's up right now. John's got four packs, by the way. Let's pull them on. There's one, two, three, four. Here we go, John. Four packs. It's going to be a nice challenge to Tony. We'll see what we can find for you. Isaac said you got a tornado watch over here in Butler. Butler's about an hour plus away from me, so hopefully it um, hopefully you stay safe. And I hope that uh, cell or whatever fizzles out. I did see there's some chance of rain tonight. There's a nice jazz chisholm. That's a 681. There's a Joey Bart, Dylan Carlson, Dylan Cease. That's gonna be all. Top ESPN draft analyst, analyst says Bucko should take Leiter, Jack Leiter, at number one, son of uh, son of Mark Leiter, right? Nephew of Al Leiter. Low Roller says, why are some cards upside down? You'll see some upside down cards for short prints and uh, the icy parallels and stuff like that. Uh, they're actually doing you a favor by putting it upside down. If you have something upside down, you have usually something really, really good. Advanced stats cards are also upside down as well. So there's no upside-down cards here. 
And um, as you see, nothing going on right there in that pack. So you're over two for numbered cards with two packs left to go. We'll see what we can do here for you, John. Thank you, Lego. I really appreciate that. We've got a gold foil, not numbered. And this is upside down because it's short print. So the first thing I look at when I see this is I look at this number down here. It is a regular short print, which tells me it's probably worth five to 10 bucks. Johnny Bench, not numbered. Casey Mize, upside down. This one might be numbered. Let's check it out if it is. Is it numbered? It is um, not numbered. Wow, they really faked me out. I was hoping that one was going to be numbered for you, John, but nothing on that one. TW says, do you think opening day was really bad this year? Not a big fan, personally, of opening day ever. Um, I like opening when it first comes out, just to see what we can find in there. But as you probably noticed, I didn't circle back and do any more with opening day. Even when I see it on the shelves at Walmart, I would still pass on it. John, here's your last pack. We'll see what we can find for you. Now, when opening day first came out, there was some demand for it because they were having trouble keeping up with the printing because there was some storms in Texas that knocked a lot of the presses offline. So there's a little bit of a supply shortage, which made people want a little more, but those presses obviously caught up. There's Dustin May. He's out for the year. And you have Suarez, who's absolutely terrible this season. Lego says, do I like tops? I absolutely love tops. If you said um, if there's only one card you could buy the rest of your life, I'd probably just honestly pick flagship tops because uh, you have three different releases every year. You got Series 1, 2, and Update. That's It's my favorite. Unfortunately for John, it's probably not his favorite because he didn't pull anything to challenge Tony there. All right, Kyle, you've got spot number 89. And then Robert has spot number 90. Jake Cranworth is indeed a very good rookie. He's putting up great numbers the past two years. Jazz Chisholm right there for Kyle. We've got a gold foil of Gerard Dyson. Oh, look at this. Get out of here. Look at this. Look at this. It is a 26 out of 99. Tony had a 28. Tony, you've been bumped out by two by a 26 out of 199. And now forever, Tony is going to hate Raphael Marchand with a passion. I have certain players that, for whatever reason, I hate. And I have no, no, literally no idea why I hate them. Like Chris Sabo, I hated. Um, who else I hate? Teddy Higuera, I hated. Um, for some reason, Tom Bernanski, I hated. I have no idea, but I didn't like them. But um, I don't know. Raphael Marchand, if he's still in the big leagues in 10 years, Tony's going to be cursing him and maybe not even remember why. 26. Kyle, you're now in the lead. You bumped Tony out there by two. So congratulations to Kyle and a big sorry to Tony. It was close. I knew that 28 was going to be a little bit problematic just because I think we had four cards that beat it in the first case. And there it is. The, the good news is for everybody else that's still coming up, that 26 is not a, uh, not a very solid number, not a low enough number to really make you feel too comfortable. Alex says, Happy Father's Day to you and everyone else here tonight. Thank you, Alex. I really appreciate that. Hope that everybody is um, planning some, you know, fun, relaxing activities tomorrow. Maybe uh, if you still have your dad, get to see him. Or maybe just uh, share some memories with your dad, with some of your family members. There's a nice silver. And we've got a numbered card for Robert. It is Miguel Yajure, but it is a 73 green, which won't get the job done. Bob Gibson, die cut card. And Robert is out. So we're halfway through case number two now officially. And the card to beat is 26, which is a very high number card in terms of a showdown. Justin's going to try to get it done with the first pack from our next case. We can gingerly grab this one. Here we go, Justin. Spot number 91. Johnny says, what's your opinion on 2021 Bowman? I like 2021 Bowman. I, I don't know if they printed too much of it. I'm a little worried because, I don't know. I guess time will tell. There's some nice prospects in there, but it did seem like they did print a lot. I don't know how that compares to previous years of Bowman. If I had time to do a deep dive, I'd probably 
be, I would definitely be interested in that. There's a, I love that 91 Acuna and also a 55 Baez for whoever gets these. Justin says, first time. Super excited. Let's see what we can do. Let's get right into it here. Good luck, Justin. Jason says, I get to take my kids to Kennywood on Father's Day. Laugh out loud. Oh, yay. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun for them. And um, I'm, I don't know. Maybe you'll have some fun, too. You can get some of those. What are those called? Potato Shack? Potato Patch Fries, which they're known for. I haven't been to Kennywood in a long time, as you can see. We've got a gold foil of Tim LaCastro. Zero, oh, look at that. 172. That won't get it done, though. Zero to 60 numbered. All right, so Justin, sorry about that. You are out, but thank you very much for participating. Alex Kirloff goes into Kyle's stack. Gerald says, a happy Father's Day. Got anything planned? It's a weather weather pending right now. I'm definitely going to get and see uh, my dad tomorrow and um, maybe go to a Little League game. It all depends on the weather. I think Heather's got some stuff up her sleeve for me in the morning. What time do I have to get up tomorrow? You said you got some stuff planned. 7.30 a.m. tomorrow. 7.30 in the morning. Heather's got some fun stuff. I got yelled at by the kids today because I was walking down the stairs to get some uh, some underwear from the laundry room for my son who just got in his bath. And um, I got yelled at because they said, Don't look! We're wrapping your presents. And Heather, I promise I didn't look. I swear. Austin says, help prospects worldwide pass 200. We're at 134 right now, doing a lot of great prospect videos for them. Writing scouting reports as well. Austin F., thank you very much. He's got a link to his channel there as well. Prospects worldwide. Uh, so we're trying, uh, I guess, is that a link to prospects worldwide? So help them pass 200. And Austin's working for him. Austin living the dream, trying to become a front office scout, working his way up. That's the way you got to do it. Thank you very much, Austin. So I hope you guys will check them out and support them. Really appreciate that, man. Polo doesn't appreciate this pack, though, because there's no numbered cards in there. So, Polo, you're out. Next up, we have Skyler. Spot number 93. Lega says, Jabs, who do you think is going to win the World Series? Well, I'll stick to my guns here. Before the season started, you might recall my pick was the White Sox defeating the Padres. Both of them have had very good seasons. The White Sox, a uh, really surprising season despite having three major injuries, losing Aloy Jimenez, Luis Robert, and Nick Madrigal, three of their best hitters. I mean, you could probably bat those guys one, two, three in their order most, most games. And losing those guys, and they're still getting it done. So I'm going to have to stick to that. Can't change my picks mid-season. Skyler wishes that they could change this pack, though, because there's no numbered cards in this one, unfortunately. So, Jeff subbed up Austin. Thanks, Jeff. We'll see what happens at the trade deadline. That's for sure, Rocco. Skyler's out. Next up, Amy at spot number 94. Let's grab the next pack. Left Behind Times says, Happy Early Father's Day, Father Jabs. Thanks, Left Behind Times. You too, man. It's going to be an interesting day tomorrow with Father's Day for me and Father's Day for my dad. Oh, let's see what we've got for Amy. Do we have a numbered card here? We have a 70 Years of Tops, but no numbered card. Unfortunately. Just a bunch of base cards there at the bottom. Next up, we've got Terrence at spot number 94. Five. We've got 120 of these to do, so we're getting there. 25 more packs. Isaac says, do you think in the next couple months you could possibly vlog a pirate game or any game in general? I actually went to a pirate game about a week ago, a week and 10 days ago, something like that, when they were playing the Dodgers on Thursday. Didn't vlog it, though. Maybe we should have. You think we should have vlogged that, Heather? Heather just shrugged her shoulders, maybe. There's not a lot of action and just sitting there. I mean, the kiddo's got foul balls. Andrelton Simmons, 293 is the number. And look out. We've got a Christian Pache. So, Terrence, that Pache is a nice card, but here's the thing. It's got a gold border on it, so it should be out of 50 on the back. you got a good shot here at knocking off Kyle. So, about a 50-50 shot. Maybe it's slightly better than 50-50. So, the number beat is a 26. So, if, your thing, if your card is numbered from 1 through 26, you're going to take this. 
Diamond Princess says, in case I don't see you tomorrow, happy Father's Day to you and all the dads out there. Diamond Princess, thank you very much for that super chat. I really appreciate that. It means a lot. I hope you guys will check out Diamond Princess as she builds her channel. She's a new card opener uh, here on YouTube. So check her out and give her some support. And thank you very much for the Father's Day wishes. Now, here we go. Kyle is probably a little little nervous right now. You got to be nervous. This is likely out of 50. And it is a 20 out of 50. There it is. We have a new leader. Kyle has been bumped out. There's only one person happy about that. Actually, two people happy. Terrence is happy. And also, um, Tony's probably happy as well. Like, oh, all right. At least I didn't lose the 26. So it's a 20 out of 50. Christian Pache. Terrence has got to be ecstatic over that one. So you are now the leader. Congratulations. Jeff has the link to Diamond Princess. Here's the other cards here. So, uh, Terrence, you're in charge of this entire case right now. You're the leader. And the number is 20. So that's not a super low number, but it's a good number. Next up, we've got spot number 96, Danny. Let's see what we can find for you. Best of luck to you. Brad's in the on-deck circle. Got a gold card here. I would love to see a gold card. No offense, Terrence, but I'd love to see a gold card end up taking this with like a crazy something out of 2021. 886. Chances of getting something good are really low with uh, gold. Like a 91 out of 299. So Danny's put up a fight here with lots of numbered cards. And logo patch of Kiebert Ruiz, which is not numbered. So a couple chances there, but not going to do it. Austin says, is probably not going to hit more than 250 in the big leagues. All right, Christopher says, click the like button again uh, because I like these videos. I noticed that Eric doesn't waste time. I think wasting time is worse than wasting money. After all, it takes time to make money. Um, I agree with you about that. I just like to, um, personally, that's just, I guess, my style. I just like to get right to it. I don't, I know that whenever I watch a break, sometimes the breakers will just sit there for like 10 minutes or so and just wait for people to come in the room before breaking, or maybe they'll just, I don't know, just pass time. I just like to get right to it. Uh, some people probably like the just the uh, the downtime, but um, I feel like we can multitask. We can talk. We can open cards at the same time, and it's just, uh, I don't know, it's just the way I like to do it. So thank you very much for the kind words. Glad that my style works for you, and thank you very much for... Uh, being here tonight brad unfortunately you are out next up we have jeffrey at spot number 98 brand says do i have this right whoever is the lead card wins the whole case of cards that is right gets the whole case the whole everything so the buy-in here is just 25 dollars a car uh, a pack and it also includes two hall of fame cards for the losers so you will go home with at least something and then whoever has the lowest card goes home with the entire case. And these cases are, you know, over $1,000 a piece. There's a, a 248 gold, Eddie Rosario, Justin Turner. Gold foils aren't numbered, so Jeffrey, you're going to be out here as well. Nothing else crazy going on there. So now it's time for Aquarium Plant Root Tabs, which we're not sponsored by them. I don't know. I don't know if they've got a, a business or not, but I guess that's their business name, and that's run by Brian. So, Brian, here we go. Let's see what we can find. I've actually had a couple people offer to um, buy spots on my breaker mat for money, but I um, never took them up on it, just partly because I have no idea how I would get in another breaker mat because this one was sent to me free of charge. All right, so we've got a gold Miguel Sano. That's going to be 522. We all oh, look at this. Oh, man. Look out, Terrence. Look out, everybody. We have a 9 out of 10. I didn't even know this. Uh, these kind of cards existed. This is my first time pulling one of these uh, 70 years of tops. The new number is 9 out of 10. It's a Tim Lincecum 1999 tops. So Terrence has been booted out, and we have another change at the top of the, the uh, leaderboard here. Brian, a.k.a. Aquarium Plant, has uh, control of the case. Nine out of ten, the freak Tim Lincecum right there, and it's an autograph as well. Great card right there. That's an awesome, awesome card. I'd love to pull some more of those 70 years of tops with autos. Man, he says, that away. So... I mean, that's a much lower number. Nine, that's, you know, you got to feel pretty good about your chances now there, Brian. 
That's not the lowest. You'd probably like to find a 1 out of 10 to really give you some confidence. But as you saw last week, even a 1 out of 10 is not safe in the showdown. Next up, here we go. It's spot number 100. It's for Simon. Only two boxes left after this one. We'll be here about 20 more minutes. Before... Let's see what we've got in this one. Steven says, winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's going to do it. We'll see. we got two more boxes. There could be a printing plate. We've got a short print here of Honus Wagner. Ted Williams is not numbered. Max Scherzer as well. And now we're into the next box. What's the best pool so far? Well, the best number pool right now is this 9 out of 10 Tim Lincecum for Brian. We also had a super short print pool in the first case of Lou Gehrig. Rob Slob says, I'm curious about the age of chatters here. I'm 57. How old is everybody else? I am 40 on the dot. Although I feel like I'm about 90 because of my back, but 40 here. Jan is up right now. It's spot number 101. Austin, one of the younger ones, 26. Lisa's 51. Left Mind Times is 37. Battery's 53. Vexy's 13. Ben 17. Brandon's 43. Page is 49. Brandon's 40. Boss Man's 39. Timmy's 51. Going on 80. 36, 24, 25, 24, 19, 15, 46, 40, 47, 20, 45. So nice range of age. Manny's 36. Sly one said three. <laughs> Javier's 40. 36, 31, 13, 53, 28, 39, 47. Here we go, Jan. Let's see what we've got for you. Brad's 48. O is 33. Sean's 39. Sports News 15. Caitlin's 25 and 3 quarters. Derek's 12. Sharky's 12. Isaac is 12. Gary's 9. Battery Bob is 1 something million. There's a Rhyme Al Tapia, and it is 1530. Wouldn't that just make you sick to your stomach, Brian, if that was like a 8 out of 2021? 20, Another numbered card here, 121. Shane Bieber, not numbered. That is an advanced stats card. And uh, Jan, thank you very much. But you have been eliminated. There's the rest of those base cards. Thomas is up next. Thomas has two total packs. By the way, all those silver packs will open at the end of this live stream, which is not too far away. Probably in about uh, 15 to 20 minutes we'll get to those. Here we go, Thomas. You got two packs, 102 and 103. Let's see what we can find for you. So, leading things off, we've got a silver foil card here. It is not numbered. We got a Devin Williams, who was your rookie of the year last year. And that'll do it for this first one. Does the winner get all the base? Yeah, the winner gets everything. Heather's sleeving up the base cards as we are speaking. You can probably hear her ripping off those little annoying filmy things that just like get everywhere. All right, so here's Thomas's second pack. You've got a silver foil, a Jorge Soler. DH debut, neither one numbered. Paul Goldsmith really wants to get in that sleeve pile, but sorry, I'm not going to let you, Goldie. You're not a numbered card. The rest of the cards here. So, unfortunately for Thomas, you have been eliminated. Brett's up next, spot number 104. What's my favorite baseball movie? Um, I like Field of Dreams a lot. It's probably my, and I'll, also The Natural. Probably The Natural, Field of Dreams, and Major League Two are all my favorite baseball movies. You might say, what are you doing? Major League Two over Major League One? Well, I saw Major League Two first, so that was like the first one for me. There's a gold card. It's Miami Marlins gold card. It's, oh, man, that was close. 11 out of 2021. You almost knocked it off there, Brett. That would have been something. So, so close on that one. Not quite. 11 out of 21 there. There's a lot of great baseball movies. Some people like a league of their own, Rookie of the Year. So, Brett, close call. Not quite going to get it done there. Next up, spot number 105 is for Daniel. Jeremy says, I agree. I like Major League 2 more than 1 and 3. 3 is sucked. Yeah, 3 was pretty bad. Sandlot's pretty good, too. like that one a lot. But I think, um, I think the Natural and Major League 2 were probably some of my favorites. Uh, we've got a Trevor Story. That's a regular short print. Nick Madrigal, player war memorabilia, not numbered. Bryce Harper, 70 years of tops, not numbered. 
Jeff Becker says, Eric, I'm working the Angels at Twins games July 24th and 25th. Bring Heather and kids to see Trout and Otani. Target Field's beautiful, as you know. I don't know. Maybe, um, I don't, I'd say there's a low percent chance we're going to get there. I mean, if you're closer to Chicago, we can maybe like work that out and maybe swing by there first, then get to the National. That would be awesome. I know that uh, the kiddos really want to see Mike Trout in person. That'll be awesome. I hope you get some good pictures there, man. Thank you very much for uh, for sharing the, the, that uh, info and the super chat as well. Jeff has a job that a lot of us would probably love. Getting into the stadium. I, I bet you can get in there early, too, and just watch them warm up. We've got a Dean Kramer out of 199. The number there is a 99. Alec Bohm. This one is just a regular logo patch, not numbered. Yeah, Trout should be back in the lineup by then, for sure. I bet you he's back before the All-Star break, actually. All right, so, Bob, here's your next pack. Nationals in Chicago this year. I think it starts the 28th of July on, I think it's like a Wednesday, and it goes to maybe like August 1st or something like that. Looks like they're having it this year, though, so maybe I'll get out there. Heather says we're going, so hopefully I'll see some of you there. Alex Kirloff. And unfortunately for Bob, no numbered cards to knock off that Tim Linscombe. Bill's up now. Let's see what we got for you, Bill. Packs number 108, 109. And after this, only one more box to open up. What's my favorite junk wax design? Hmm, good question. What do you consider junk wax? If you consider the junk wax era starting in 86 or so, then... I really liked 87, if you go throughout the rest of the 80s, the late 80s. But I feel like I was a big fan of 83 and 84 and 85. I liked all of those. 87 was one of my favorites from the Junk Wax era. I like that wood design. Alex Kirloff right there. One of these days, I will probably rank my favorite designs of all time for you guys. Hey, Heather just dropped the link for you there, Jeff. There's the link to Jeff's channel. I hope you guys will check him out. He does a lot of great videos over there. Give him some support. Jeff, um, really, really in the know in the card industry. He gives me tips a lot of the time on when stuff's dropping. We've got Oh, look at this. Oh, man. We've got a new best card of the night. A Mario Rivera autograph. Wait until you see his auto, guys. If... if you ask me who has the best autograph in all of baseball, it's Marion Rivera, hands down. He's got the best autograph. Wait till you see this. Look at that autograph. And look at that number, William. You're taking home your Rivera and everything else as well. It is a number 8 out of 10. You've got to be kidding me. An 8 out of 10, Marion Rivera on card which the with the patch. This card is, I, mean, I, I can't get too excited because my, my back is starting to, to seize up here a little bit. A Marion Rivera, the best pitcher, the best relief pitcher of all time. First player to ever get 100% of the, of the vote into Cooperstown. And William, you're taking it. You're now the leader. An 8 out of 10, Marion. Look at that signature, guys. That's just calligraphy right there. Lisa says, another dramatic win in the waning seconds here. How about that one? A, a nice Mariano Rivera. That's a, not nice. That's an awesome Mar Mariano. You don't pull Mariano Rivera cards out of base releases ever. Usually you have to go to like diamond icons and stuff like that to find his. Javier says, well, I'm buying more jumbo boxes. What What is this hanging on there? It's like a piece of a pop balloon. Looks like the folks at Tops were having a balloon party or something. And it got placed into the box somehow. So, Andrew, here we go. You got to be an eight now, Marion Rivera. Of course, says that card is top tier. That is an amazing card. That's an awesome card. Um, what would you say that one's worth? I would probably put at least several hundred dollars on that Rivera. These cards aren't numbered. Neither is the silver. So, Andrew, you're going to be bumped out here. Did you want the sleeve cards either? There you go. Tony says that's a $300 card right there. I love the Jumbos. Jumbos have been very, very good to us, and it's they're going to be even better here coming up because we have all those silver packs, which, as you know, usually have some cool stuff in them. 
All right, here we go. Last box. Last box of the night. William, you got to get through this box, and you're taking home your Mariana Rivera and everything else. However, you got 10 people trying to take your Mariano from you, along with all the other cards. Here's those silver packs. We'll open those up at the end after we declare the winner, and all those cards will go to the winner as well. We've got a nice 2002 Randy Rosarena and a Luis Robert 2017 Tops card, or 2016, in there also. So here we go. First pack up. We've got James. Best of luck to you, James. Joshua says, hey, Eric, I'm back. I'm ready to see some amazing pool. You just missed a, a huge Mo Marion Rivera pool right there. And it knocked off the leader by one. So Saturday showdowns always have some drama in them. At least that seems that way. There's a... Wouldn't that be crazy? Now, William, uh, Bill's probably like, oh, man, please. Any number card, you're like, please don't be less than eight. 475 on that one. You probably just had, like, a heart attack there when I flipped that over. And we have a Joe Musgrove, 63 out of 70. That had a good shot of taking it there. Not a great shot, but a good shot. Kobe says, how's your day been? Um, pretty good. You know, dealing with back issues with this herniated disc. But otherwise, besides that, hanging out with the family, hanging out with Heather, having a great day. Anthony's up right now in spot number 112. Let's see what we can find for you. Here we go, Anthony. The Marion Rivera is up for grabs along with all the other cards. All these will be placed into um, a big old flat rate jumbo box. And we'll see if I can fit them in a... Um, in a large priority mailbox, hopefully. If not, I'm going to have to do two of those. There is a Dellen Batances. Flip that over. Not numbered. No numbered cards for Anthony in this one. And that will take us now to our next pack. Only eight more packs. Bill, to get through. Caden, here we go. Spot number 113. You're going to try to take that Mo. Christopher says, seems like very dramatic all the way to the end. Yeah, you never know what's going to happen in one of these pack war type breaks. Here we go, Caden. Let's see. You just need at least to see a gold card in there to have a chance. The silver foils are nice, but they're not really what you want. There we go. Josh says, dang, I can't believe I just missed the mo. Alex says, how do you work the silver packs into these breaks? Well, for this one, you're going to get every card in the case. So the silver pack, since there's less of them, they're just like a spoil to the winner. So we open those after we have our winner. They get all the box toppers as well. Next up, we've got Brad. So I'll open all those silver packs here in a minute. And it says, how long will tonight's opening be? I would tell you probably less than 10 more minutes total. As we only have six more packs to go, it looks like. Yeah, six more packs. And then we'll do all the silvers for you as well. But those are only four-card packs. That won't be a long one. We did find an autograph... A nice Joey Bart auto in our last silver pack opening about an hour and ten minutes ago. Hey, here we go. You got a shot here, Brad. Drew Rasmussen. 250, though, is the number, which won't get it done, and these cards aren't numbered either. Go through these and see what we've got. Nothing else crazy going on in here. So Brad's out. Takes us to Steven at spot 115 to 116. So here's 115. Here's 116. Best of luck to you. Alex says, what about the target drops? Thoughts for this week? I don't know. I don't know what day it's going to be. I'll tell you what. If, uh, if I'm home and I'm free and there's a target drop, I'll hop on here and start sorting cards and let you guys know. And... Uh, so make sure you have your post notifications turned on so that whenever I do go live, you'll get notified on your phone. I'll say, phone will say Jabs Famous Live, and I'll call it something like Target Drop. There's a Frankie Lindor, 294's number on there, and also a Aaron Judge, not numbered. So, Steven, got to wait for your next pack to see if you got anything in there to take that mo and everything else. Let's see what we've got. All right. There's a gold foil. We have a 164 out of 300 advanced stats card of Justin Upton. We've got the manufactured patch. Another, that's a Mariana Rivera box. Oh, wait, that that uh, Bill Sharp pull was out of the last box. But Mariano Case there with two hits. 
not numbered. It's just a fake ring that's actually made of like a heavy plastic material. And how much are the big boxes you're up in? Usually the jumbo boxes are around two hundred some dollars a piece. Dustin, you're up next. When they first came out, they were two forty. I think now they're down to two twenty nine on Steel City. Here we go, Dustin. One seventeen, one eighteen. Let's see what we can find for you. Only four packs left. And then we'll open up all of those silvers for you guys and see what else we've got in there. All right, so Dustin, you need to find something that's numbered here, and this is not going to help. The, none of those cards are numbered. If I got that pack in my LCS, I'd be like, dang, I gotta buy another pack now. Vexy says, do you get your, your money back? No, it's a pack war. So, for example, William's gonna pay $25 for the entire case. That's the way that works. Here we go for Dustin. Next one. Got a gold foil, but it's not going to get the job done. Um, the, well, all right, so these aren't numbered either, as you know. So it comes down to just, what do we got left? Two more packs. Two more packs. Let's see what we've got. Do I have any recommendations on card shops in Tampa? I did visit a couple of them. I can't remember what they're called, though. You can check out my recent video. So we got the Border Geek right now. Eight out of ten is the lead spot. The Border Geek, who's uh, Derek Jones is his name. Derek Jones up in Canada. Here we go, Derek. There he is. He says one of 2021. Here we go. What will Derek find? All right, you've got a gold. You've got an autograph. It's not numbered, though. The gold is a gold foil. The autograph is not numbered either. All right, so Christian Pache, you've got one more person to get through. Bill, it's between you and Mark Allen. Let's see what we can find for you guys right now. Who's going to take it? Spot number 120. Here we go, Bill versus Mark. If it's if Mark doesn't have any numbered card, Bill, you get the whole case along with your Mariana Rivera and all the silver packs, which we'll open up and show you what's in there as well. Let's see what we can find now. BP, is that, is that a Mariana Rivera Tops Reverence Patch Auto? Just got, yes, it is, out of 10. I'll bring it back closer to the screen for you. Oh, man, we've got a, maybe an upside-down card. It's a Willie Mays. It might just be a short print. It is a short print. It's not numbered. It is a regular short print of the Say Hey Kid, and that means, Mark Allen, you are out. And, Bill, you are officially the winner of the entire case, too. So congratulations, Bill. You get to keep your Marion Rivera Reverence Patch, and we'll show it to you one more time, then we'll get into the silvers. This was the winning card of that case. 8 out of 10. It ended up being the lowest number card and also the best card of the entire night. So, Bill, congratulations. Now let's show you the extras. It's all these silver packs. You might have some more autographs coming your way. Let's rip these open and then we'll say goodnight for today before we get to our next video tomorrow. I'm still trying to decide what it's going to be. These are the, the sleeveys. So congratulations to Bill and Michael, the big winners tonight. If you'd like to participate in a Saturday showdown like this one or any of our case breaks, we have the personal style where you get every card in the box. We have the random team breaks that we do from time to time. You can check us out on Patreon. It's $3 per month, and the higher tiers get monthly packs and or boxes sent to you depending on what tier that you want to join. And the link is in the description to this video and also at the top of the live chat in blue. It's a pinned comment. And look at this. I think we have an autograph. So, Bill, it just gets better for you. You have an autograph of Devin Williams Orange out of 25, I believe. Yep, 25, 25. Added Devin Williams Auto. And so these silver packs in Top Series 2, I, I said at the beginning of these breaks that they're like 1 in 30. It might be like 1 in 10 is the chance of an autograph. We're just finding autos very frequently in these in one round we found three of them here's a green reggie jackson that's a great card goes so well with this uniform color out of 99 congratulations on the autograph bill let's check out the next couple packs tim anderson william Contreras. you've got about what do we got here six packs left 
on the night. Another Hallsfield says, love these silver packs. Yeah, they're definitely fun to do and oh, usually good stuff in them. Even if you don't find an autograph, they have nice cards, nice rookie class in here. And they are fun to look at as well. There's another Derek Jeter, Christian Yelich, Sanchez, and Correa. Got four more packs left in the showdown. Thank you very much for watching. Everybody. I hope everybody's having a nice weekend. And I hope you guys all have a great Father's Day tomorrow. There's a Jose Abreu gold out of 50, 17 of 50. Bill says, my wife says, happy Father's Day. Thank you very much to Mrs. Sharp. Hope you had fun watching tonight. I bet your husband's very happy with his win. I would be too. And there's Trevor Rogers. Uh, we've got a Craig Biggio there as well. All right. What's my email? Someone just asked for my email. Here it is. That's an underscore, an Eric J underscore one zero zero. All right. Two packs left. How are we going to find one more autograph? Not in this pack. William Contreras' is the last one there. Here it is, last pack of the night. Again, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope that you will please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up button as we hit the one hour mark of the video. And looks like there's not going to be an autograph in there, but it is a blue and it is a Carlos Correa out of 150. So, Bill, congratulations on the huge Mario Rivera pool. Love this card for Bill. Awesome, awesome card. So, Heather, we're going to need to uh, get a uh, thick. I guess I'll take care of it. Those are downstairs in a special spot. We need a thick top loader, or uh, if I have a one touch of that thick, I'll use that. So that'll do it, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. I hope you guys have a great Father's Day and a great rest of your evening, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.